With the San Diego housing market at never before seen highs, San Diegans are turning to different types of housing. And whether you're looking for a more affordable option or you're a homeowner on the hunt to purchase another property, ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez shows us why going tiny is now more in demand. I would say this is the biggest year yet for tiny homes in San Diego. San Diego based company Zen Tiny Homes has been creating small spaces on wheels for the past seven years. Founder Ben Rawson says he started building to try and find a better, more cost efficient solution to the rising costs of homes in the county. But 2022 has brought demand that's doubled from what they used to see. I get calls every day all the time. And he thinks he knows why. Last year was the first year that the county of San Diego started allowing people to pull permits to put tiny houses in backyards. Up until then, we were only able to put them in the RV parks and on private properties that are usually out in the sticks on the agricultural land. Sounds pretty simple, right? Not quite. First, you have to make sure what you are getting is legally considered a tiny home. Not to be confused with RVs or campers or traditional ADUs, these houses need to be less than 500 square feet, must be on wheels, be RV certified, and pass all the qualifications on this list. You have to be 20 feet away from any existing structure on the properties. You also need, uh, looks like, five feet off of any type of fencing. And that's for if the fire department needs to come and get into the house or get around the fencing or bring hoses in, that's, that's what that's for. So there's a whole list of different requirements. If you think you have land eligible for this home, the next step is calling a certified company like this one to inspect the land you want to put it on to make sure you're even eligible before beginning the process for a movable tiny home permit. So right now it's typically taking people about a year to get approved on the permitting just to be able to have one of these. And there usually has to be infrastructure work done on any given property in order to be able to be granted the permit. So there's sub permits that have to be applied th for throughout that process. So while it takes a while, if you get the OK, you can then decide if you want to bring in an already made home or create one from the ground up, which usually takes three months and costs roughly $60,000. Typical costs for an ADU are about three times what a tiny home would be. When we see ADUs built in, say, La Jolla, you we're seeing them average between two and three hundred thousand dollars to get one built. Whereas a tiny house, it's much cheaper to build. It's it's quicker to build. And while some may look at the tight quarters with a weary eye, Rawson says it's pretty comfortable. Owners adding additions like decks and awnings to make it their own. Well, you have to be smart with your design. You have to make sure you can maximize your space, especially indoor outdoor space. This crew is working on new projects every day and expect more walkthroughs from interested buyers come summer. But just ask, if you want to make the move to smaller living, make sure you read the fine print first. In Vista, Sofia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. If you would like more information on what specific qualifications are needed for tiny homes in San Diego, just visit our website, 10news.com.